My name is Nick LaPointe and I'm the Canadian Wildlife Federation Senior Freshwater Conservation Biologist. Uh, we're here on the Yukon River just downstream of Whitehorse and uh, we're hoping to tag some Chinook salmon. These Chinook salmon have uh, an incredible journey. They travel 2,700 kilometers up the Yukon River uh, across Alaska from the Bering Sea and uh, the only dam on the Yukon River is in Whitehorse. It has a fish ladder that's passed fish for the past 50 years and uh, we know where most of the salmon go after they pass that ladder. There are uh, known spawning grounds on the Mitchie McClintock system but there are also a big series of lakes called the Southern Lakes uh, upstream of Whitehorse and uh, salmon are occasionally found elsewhere in those southern lakes and it's not clear whether they're just strain or if there are other uh, spawning populations in the southern lakes. So there are a couple issues that we're looking to understand. One is where salmon go uh, after they pass the Whitehorse Dam. The second thing that we're trying to find out is to get uh, better information on ladder efficiency. Uh, we certainly know that the ladder's been operating for the past 50 years. It's passed uh, an average of 1,200 fish over that time every year. Um, and once fish enter the ladder, they make it to the top. But we don't have a lot of good data on what proportion of fish approaching the ladder uh, enter it and pass it. Um, and so by tagging fish downstream of, of the dam, we're able to track the movements of those fish and find out what proportion of them uh, make it into the ladder. This is an interesting species for the Canadian Wildlife Federation to work on. Uh, it's certainly an iconic Canadian species making the, the largest uh, salmon migration in North America. Um, but there's also a cause for conservation concern. So uh, Chinook salmon, salmon in general have declined in, in many areas of Canada and Chinook salmon in the Yukon River um, have been in a, a bit of a conservation crisis over the past uh, decade or so, um, due in part to overfishing, to climate change, uh, and to some unknown factors. So we're trying to get a better sense of why those salmon have declined and uh, see whether there are opportunities for restoration and recovery.